today we're going to be marrying possibly one of Stardew's most controversial villagers as we are going to be causing gay panic in our very own himbo, Alex. Granddad? Go back to heaven, Grandpa. We've done nothing on this farm. He's going to be like eight divorces? Are you serious? You've really played the town well, my dearest. Grandpa is pleased. Are you? I can't even see it because the trees we haven't cut down are in the way. <laughs> Wait, how the fuck did he give us three stars? I actually polled my YouTube community to see if we should go after Alex through a male farmer or a female farmer. And overwhelmingly, you guys voted for the male farmer. We're gonna have to change our look so that we can send Alex into a bit of a, a, bit of a gay panic. Looking like Alex's type, to be honest with you. Oh, this is actually kind of cute. I think Alex would like this. This dude loves eggs. I mean, he fucking loves eggs. They're like crack to him. He just can't get enough of it. We got the chicken coop from the last video. I don't know if they've been planting eggs or not. Yeah, I, I, I think we have enough eggs for Alex. You guys are the best wingman ever. Oh, there he is wearing his cute little red shirt this time. Here, have an egg. Oh, I missed. Dude looks like a ripoff Troy Bolt. Whoa, Alex. And I'm just standing here watching. Okay, Alex, show it off if you've got it. I understand. You know what the funniest thing is, chat? This kind of makes me a little mad. If you look at original portrait Alex, he kind of looks like me. Like all you need to do is give him a, a blonde streak in his hair and it's literally just me. Secondly, why is his room so big? Like it's the size of the entire house. Like what, what are George and Evelyn sleep? in when he's got this. Sigh. I wish there were more girls in this town. Know what I mean? He's like, I just love, I just love women, right? Anytime I give him the eggs, I kind of just imagine that he doesn't Abigail and he just shoves the whole thing in his mouth. Cause it's like crunching up, cutting the inside of his mouth. He's like, oh, this is delicious. Looks like a good day to play some catch, huh? I'd ask you to throw the ball around, but you don't really seem like the sports type. What's the f what is that supposed to mean? I'm kind of upset by that. I'm fine just watching you from a distance sounds kind of funny. I think I'll go from that. Some people just aren't made for sports. If I was a woman, would he be super sexist to me with this dialogue? If I was a woman, he said, if you weren't a girl, I'd ask you to play catch. What a dick. If Alex doesn't think a woman can't throw a football, he's obviously never seen Pam on the sports pitch. I'll tell you that much. Hey, you must be getting pretty strong working on that farm all day. Yep, that's all I do all day. Just work out on that farm. Maybe we'll reach my level someday. Something to look forward to, huh? Why do you have that look on your face? <laughs> hey, he's pretty funny. Oh, too hot event, baby. Uh, hi. Um, it's Alex, right? Wait, my name is Alex? Did I accidentally set my name to Alex when I was doing the naming? I did, I did not realize. I didn't mean to do that. We're sticking with it, though. I'm just enjoying this great weather, Alex. What? Wait, wait you, just, you just hit the gritty on me? Hey, go long. Which just is like smack me in the face or something. Oh, I told you! I'm gonna be the first professional grid ball player from Stardew Valley. There's no doubt in my mind. Yeah, I mean, that would be the first one because there's only like 20 people who have ever come out of this valley. I already led my school's team to the regional playoffs. Now I'm just training and getting stronger so I can claim my spot on the roster of the Zuzu City Tunnelers. Wow, you're really arrogant? <laughs> we could just call him out. Oh, he's not happy with me. I think someone's a little jealous. Oh, he's pissed, dude. I kind of picture Alex like he was the bully from a 2003 teen romance comedy. Hey, what are you doing, jerkwad? You think you can walk in these halls when I'm around here? Yeah, Alex definitely shoved people into lockers in high school. Hey, uh, Alex, what do you what do you call an egg that's really good at sports? Wait, I messed up the joke. Pretend you didn't hear that. I'll, I'm gonna do it again. Alex, what do you call, what sport are eggs best at? Running. I don't know if you found that very funny. Alex, I got your morning egg. I can't believe you do that to me. It was an egg, Alex. Oh, and he won't even talk to me for the rest of the day. Wow, what a piss baby. Jazz takes an egg to the face and she doesn't mind. He's got shirtless men lifting weights on his wall. Now, if that isn't the straightest, most masculine thing to have on your wall, I don't know what is. Mega Muscles magazine. Yeah, just a, just a magazine of ripped shirtless men next to his posters of shirtless bodybuilders. 
I can't imagine where these doubts might be coming from. I want to see what's in their room. Oh, if you're reading this, that means I've passed on. I'm sorry you had to go through this. Know that I love you both. Don't be too upset. I'm with Yoba now. My final request, take care of Alex. He needs a family, something stable. He's a good kid. Love, Clara. Is this Alex's mum? So she passed away? He needs a family, something stable. And all he got was George? Okay, this suddenly got a lot deeper than I thought it was going to be. I wasn't, this is what I was saying earlier. I don't actually know Alex's background story a lot. Whatever Gus is cooking up at the saloon, it smells like heaven. You know what else smells like heaven? Raw egg yolk. Thinking about it, <laughs> these eggs are just sitting in my back pocket in the hot valley sun. They're probably so rotten. And he just crunches down on these. So it's four hard event, we need to enter town. And there it is. Oh, and Dusty's out. You might be the only one around here who, who understands me. No one else has seen the kind of stuff you and I have. Oh, and we just walk out of the bushes like we've just listening in the whole time. Did you overhear me talking? Yes, I heard everything. I feel like if we say yes, I heard everything, we're admitting that we're the, the, we're the town stalker because we always seem to just walk out of the bushes during the cutscenes. Oh, we all want to go one? I don't really like to talk about it. I guess I'll explain. Have you ever wondered why I live with my grandparents? You see, my father wasn't a good guy. He ruined everything for me and my mom. Oh, interesting. So we kind of have insight into his mom's backstory. Now we're getting a dad backstory. Alex could have more depth than I thought he would have. Half the time he was gone, the other half he'd drink all night and tell me I'm worthless, that I'd never amount to anything. That kind of explains why he's so driven to be successful. I think he resented me for being young, bitter because he had wasted his youth doing nothing and had gotten nowhere in life. Well, that's my take on it anyway. Who knows what was really going on in his mind. One day he left, and soon after that, my mom got sick and passed away. I had no choice but to move in with my parents. You seem like someone I can trust. That's why I'm telling you this, Alex. I don't want any sympathy. If there's one good thing about my path- Oh, okay, thank you for the follow. One for- Thank you for the follow. If there's one good thing about my past, it's that it made me strong. Now, let me show you what Dusty will do for a barbecued steak. <laughs> Why does he look like that? He looks like the werewolf from Harry Potter. Why does he look like that? What the fuck? What was that noise? Was the dog being stepped on? George, what do you think about Alex's past? That's how it is when you're retired. I, I, I don't think he heard what I was saying. Thanks for pouring your heart out to me the other day. Oh wow, your shoes are a little dirty, but that's fine too. Thanks, Alex. I'm glad to see we're making some progress. Your backstory's got me it is looking pretty exciting. I hope he's really getting this. God, look at the size of this egg. How is someone meant to eat this whole? Oh, oh! Sigh. Oh, we're just walking on in, just letting ourselves in. Hi, Alex. Are you looking at that muscle magazine you had before? Look at all these books. I haven't read a single one. Just the thought of cracking one open makes me nervous. Ah, he's onto it. I'll tell, he loves his eggs, okay? But you can't make a decent living in this world without a brain. I'm worthless. Worthless? That about sums it up. We could speak to him like we're his father. Oh my god, we're actually working through his daddy issues. Listen, you might not be the smartest smartest egg out there, but you're strong, and that's what that's what matters. I guess you're right. If I work hard, I can do I can do anything. Maybe one day, soon we'll have dinner and discuss Phil Philo philo philosophy. Oh my god, he's just like me for real. Isn't that what you smart people talk about? Wow, that was really cute. He wants to get smarter and now he's working out his other muscles. Oh, this is a cutscene. Oh, hey, I was just doing my daily strength training routine. Sorry, I have no shirt on. <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. He's like, Ugh. strips it off of his, as he sees me walking in. Uh, Alex, I've been meaning to talk to you about something. Has he realized? Any signs in his room might make him realize something important? Anything? I've started to realize that, well, 
I've been really rude towards you in the past. Oh, that's, <laughs> yeah, sure. That's what you've realized. I guess I might not actually be cut out for professional sports. Maybe it was just a childish dream. I want to apologize to you for bragging and being annoying about it. I appreciate that you stayed friends with me all through that. Alex, I'll be honest with you. I wasn't here for your personality. Whoa, look at him go. Holy shit. He's going to be useful on the farm. Hey, Alex, you know what they, uh, you know what they call a smart omelet? An egghead. Give, it, give him a little bit. He'll, he'll get it. Do you guys think he likes American football because the ball is shaped like an egg? We only have six hearts with him and we've had so many cutscenes. I guess he has a lot of, a lot of character development. If my hair wasn't so popular with the ladies, I'd swear I'd shave it off in a second. I feel like this is an internal battle that every man has gone through. <laughs> life can be tough. Yeah, it's, life can be a hard one to crack sometimes, Alex. He's crying at the beach. And of course we interrupt. We always manage to turn up on the most, most emotional points. Oh, Alex, you saw me crying. It was today, 12 years ago that my mum died. <laughs> I still remember her well. She'd make salted radish sandwiches for lunch and toss the grid ball with me in the backyard. She took good care of me and I was too young to say thanks. Now, she's gone forever. This is the only keepsake I have left. Her secret music box. So what are you thinking right now, Alex? Honor your mum's memory by always doing your best. You shouldn't dwell in the past. I'll always be here for you if you get lonely. Get over it? Could you imagine? One is a little bit, like, it's a bit much. I think, uh, I think three seems like the best option here. Just being, like, an, a shoulder to cry on for when he needs it. Thanks, Alex. You're different than the other guys. More sensitive. <gasps> he's blushing. He's realizing. Sorry, sorry. He's real. Oh, oh. I'm glad. There's no sense sitting around sniveling. Let's head back to town. Um, Alex? Don't tell anyone I was crying, okay? And we're laughing at him. Wow, <laughs> we're laughing at him? I'm going to tell the whole town. Hey, uh, wait. Don't tell anyone, will ya? Aw, oh, jeez. How do you spell bokeh? I didn't know you felt the same way. Did you even know you felt this way, Alex? Do you think Alex sees George as a role model because of his shiny egg head? Would you describe Alex as a himbo? I don't know if I would say Alex is that himbo. I don't know if he has the ditziness. What if they made ice cream out of protein instead of cream? Now that is himbo energy. That sounds absolutely disgusting. Alex, eat this egg raw. Oh, is it my birthday today? Is it? <laughs> Alex, meet me at the saloon tonight after dark. Alex. Oh my god, we're having an Alex meetup. Did the Alex convention finish before I could get here? What, Alex, you were meant to meet me at the saloon. What are you doing down here? Just because he wouldn't meet me at the saloon. Oh! Oh, this is romantic! Oh, he splashed out! I think there's meant to be music playing right now. I think Gus is meant to be playing a nice romantic tune. Thanks, Gus. That was great. We heard none of it. Yeah, I think I might get the uh, Egg Fu Yong. I've never dined in here before. This is like fine dining in Stardew Valley. Like the back of the saloon, that's like a three-star Michelin restaurant in this valley. Uh, anyway, I reserved this private room so we could talk. Emily, get out of here. This is not, oh, she always makes it about herself. I've got a linguine with mushroom cream sauce for Mr. Alex. He actually ordered scrambled egg and a grilled steak for Alex. Oh. He ordered the steak, my my bad. What, what I wanted to say was, uh, gulp, like zoinks. I have to come out as gay. When we first met, I was instantly drawn to you. It was confusing. I never felt that way about anyone. 
I kept telling myself, you can't have these kinds of feelings for another guy, no! Listen, I'm just saying, Alex, you go into your room and all the signs are literally on the wall. My heart was telling me something else. I'm sorry, I don't feel that same way about it. Could you imagine we could just crush him after he's just gone through a massive spiritual and emotional journey where he's finally realized truly who he is and we could just end it in front of him. We could crack his ego. We could crack his egg o. Oh. I can't believe it took us this long to say that to each other. This is really sweet. Mm, the, the steak is outstanding. You smell that it's fragrant, fragrant shosh. You're just gonna eat like that? You're gonna say, what the fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ. Dusty jump scare. Why is the dog so scary? Top five scariest moments in Stardew Valley. This is, this is just so sad. Alex has a room the size of the rest of the house. And George has to sleep in his wheelchair and Evelyn can't even get to the bed. Alex, I know you're working, but do you want to get married? Alex, this is the greatest thing that could have happened to me. I can't wait. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, you know what, Alex? Have one of these just to make up for it. When Alex first arrived in Pelican Town, no one knew if he'd fit in with our community. Are you still accepting of him now, Lewis, that he's found out who he is? Oh, wait, you're talking about me. <laughs> I thought he was talking about Alex. Alex and Alex, I now pronounce you husband and well husband that was an exciting wedding first one in the marriage baby first one in the marriage i only know four egg puns whoa this is his room oh this is fire look and he didn't get rid of the sexy men in the posters Ugh. one yeah two it feels great to lift weights outdoors yep keep doing your thing that hurt What's your problem? You know what else hurts? You know what else? I, I, you can, you get eggs, eggs, I was scrambled. Um, your egg, egg. I made you a hot breakfast. Hey, uh, you can, you make me a coffee with that? I'll take an egg espresso. Do we have any eggs? I'm craving eggs. Well, Alex, you've come to the right farmer. You want some eggs? Oh no, we lost two hearts with him because of that. But I thought you wanted some eggs. Oh, 14 hearts? Before you head out, I hate to ask this, but can I have five grand? Am I his sugar daddy? Where does he think I have this money? It's for a secret project I'm working on. Give Alex five grand for a secret project? I, sure, whatever. Swing by the saloon on Sunday and I'll show you the end result. There's lots of ex room here to do my exercise. I'm making more progress than ever. It's not like you didn't have any room at your last place either. Yeah, boys. Yeah, that a boy. Go get him. There's a couple of men now sitting there watching the big old game. That's what it's about. Hell yeah. You guys want to do some kissing practice later? So, what do you think? You spent five grand of my money on this? Are you serious? We could have got that TV from the junkyard. These are just items from your room. Are you kidding me, Alex? You know how I used to dream of being an athlete one day? Yeah, and maybe if you wanted to just splash out $5,000 like it's nothing, you shouldn't have given up on that dream, Alex. Do you know how much NFL contracts pay, Alex? Two years of being beaten around in a sports field and we would have been set for life. Well, my life ended up turning out a bit different. I'm happy though, don't get me wrong. But I thought it would be cool to have a place where us guys could hang out and watch the Sunday game and Gus liked the idea so much he offered me part of his back room. This way, I get to keep part of the dream alive in a small way. You did good, son. Coming here makes me feel young again. Yeah, you're looking young, George. You're looking young. I'm happy for an excuse to get out of the house and take my mind off things. <laughs> Thanks, Ken. Ken's like, we used to sit around and watch the Sunday game back in the barracks too, when suddenly a bomb went off. 50 good men were killed that day. I'm having a lot of fun. Very good for business. I don't have a Gus voice. Oh, maybe not so good for Shane's liver. Hey, oh, I'm not already slightly an alcoholic. 5,000 gold well spent, was it? Wow, Alex actually had a very, very adorable story. Thanks again for the money, Alex. It was a fun project for me and all the guys seemed so happy with it. We could have just turned the room up here into a... Why did it have to... 5,000 gold, Alex. 5,000.
I'm getting a divorce. All right, now this will be gold well spent. Let me know if you're sore. I know some physical therapy techniques that can help you if you need them. Well, at least it'll be a good final night together through his beautiful journey, finding out his great backstory and his gay panic realization. And just like that, it's all over. I thought we had something special. I guess I was wrong. Yeah, Alex, I'm gonna be honest with you. Our marriage just, it just wasn't all it cracked up to be.